So Bob, I've been begging you the past couple days to keep this beautiful weather that we mm -hmm. had today. Yes. And I know you said a cool front's coming, but I'm not too much of a big fan of that. It's going to be a right. big drop. Now, it's not, uh, not as big as this last one. We'll okay. see a slightly cooler temperatures though Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of uh, next week. And uh, looks like I know you wanted Monday to be okay. Well, yeah, you, you got it. I Mon can deal with slightly cooler Mon Mon temperatures. Monday's going to be okay. It's going to be warm. Uh, some Van Ways of webcam showing beautiful conditions out there on the waters, and I think that is going to be a, a key, a beautiful weekend for boaters and folks going out to the beaches. It's been kind of rough going for some. It's been a little bit on the cooler side. In fact, the lows this morning were just four degrees shy of setting a record low temperature here. I got down to 40 degrees. A beautiful shot of sunset tonight. Kathleen Brunt getting this one of Venice Beach. Appreciate that. Nice palm trees there. And Captain Kurt out of the sailboat. I like this, uh, this sun here as it sets. I remember on CSQ used to see them all the time. It looks like a light bulb uh, just as it goes down uh, close to the horizon. This one, the afterglow, if you will, uh, sent in by John from Anna Maria Island. Appreciate all those photos. Uh, we do have some red tide to talk about a little bit here. Now, uh, it's patchy, but it's a very high concentrations now being felt from, oh, the jetties in Venice southward uh, through Inglewood. Uh, there have been some reports of irritation there, some respiratory problems, but again, those count numbers are higher. But the good news is uh, we are looking at uh, fewer of the samples showing up uh, as red tide. Uh, While well, we have a warmer weekend ahead, a cold front we mentioned on Tuesday, it comes in and brings us a chance for some much needed rainfall and then cooler late next week. Those are the headlines as they read and looks to be really quite nice though for the weekend. Now, the wind shift is going to be a big deal. We'll have it out of the east tomorrow, southeast. Uh, by the afternoon, though, as we get close to the noon hour, that wind starts to develop a little sea breeze, and that keeps things a little bit cooler near the coast with the water temperatures now into the upper 60s for the most part. Beachgoers will see highs tomorrow, low 70s, 72, 73 degrees, but just a mile or two away from that, you'll see highs right around 75 degrees. Similar conditions on Sunday, although it will be a little bit warmer on Sunday. We're expecting highs approaching 80 degrees. Current conditions, it's cool, 55. We have clear skies. The dew point temperature has come up a little bit. 45 degrees right now and winds are calm. The pressure 3013, that's high, and that continues to rise at this time. There's the low this morning, 40 degrees. We'll be almost 15 degrees above that tomorrow morning to start things off, close to the average for this time of year. And finally, back in the 70s, after all week long, we've been in the 60s for highs. Now we're back into the 70s and we'll go into the upper 70s on and through uh, Sunday afternoon. 55 in Jacksonville, 60 in Orlando right now, and 68 degrees in Miami. Temperatures around the area into the upper 50s to low 60s. The Gulf water temperature now 67 degrees. Arcadia at 62. Northport the same and 60 in Bradenton now. Cortez a little bit warmer at 63 degrees. Forecast looks good as I said tomorrow. Uh, sunshine and plenty of it. Temperatures into the mid 70s and it looks as though uh, we'll see clear skies tomorrow night as that high pressure ridge and dome will stay pretty much just to the east of the state. I mentioned uh, the uh, highs tomorrow will be into the mid 70s. Now this is a Fort Myers Southwest Regional Airport. Look at the 80 and then for lows on Sunday morning. If you have an early tea time uh, on Sunday, it looks to be OK. 60 degrees uh, for the low temperature on Sunday. Well, the future cast showing a storm system kind of working its way through the central United States and into the Ohio Valley. But for us, this cloudiness kind of rides on the high pressure ridges. Front falls apart just to our north. So it should not be a factor. And uh, the next front, as I said, due to arrive late Tuesday. Temperatures currently in the 20s and 30s over the Great Lakes. A little bit warmer tomorrow in places like Chicago and Kansas City. We'll get up to 50 degrees, uh, 80 in Dallas. For boaters, just uh, smooth conditions out there. Seas less than two feet and winds out of the southeast, turning to the southwest at five knots. And the water temperature now 67 degrees. The forecast tonight, mostly fair, not as cold, 55. For your low end, St. Patrick's Day. Looks to be just spectacular. Uh, we'll look for 55 to start things off in the morning. Mostly sunny and mild in the afternoon. 75 for a high. And then for the evening festivities, 65 degrees. And the extended forecast then calling for a high of 79 on Sunday. Same on Monday. Uh, spring arrives officially on Tuesday with a chance for showers. Mainly showers Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Wednesday, it turns a little bit uh, cool. Highs in the upper 60s. Erica? All right, Bob. Thank you.